Hey guys, time for a brand new video. Now the lights aren't pointing in a good direction, but today we are doing a new uh, Blu-ray pickups, you know, video. Uh, but some of these things uh, are not Blu-ray. Just gonna say it out there. Um, you know, I actually got some slip covers this month. Uh, but yeah, today is the 20th anniversary of Fargo, so I have no idea why I did not review Fargo. But you know what? Fuck it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do another. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll talk about Fargo later. Uh, so yeah, today is the 20th anniversary of Fargo, and for some reason they didn't release the 20th anniversary edition. I don't know. But yeah, let's go through it. Um, now with this one, you may be wondering, hey Jared, don't you already own this movie? Wait, why would you double dip just to buy a slipcover? I did not double dip. I actually got this from a really awesome site that I recommend that you check out called Blu-raysforeveryone.com. They sell a lot of out-of-print Blu-rays, a lot of out-of-print steelbooks, really awesome lenticular slipcovers, a lot of regular slipcovers. Everything is on there, and I definitely think you should check them out. Uh, I did an Instagram post about them, so you can check them out. But yeah, uh, got the slipcover for the Avengers. So yeah, a very nice slipcover embossed lenticular. Not really lenticular, but uh, got a hollow foil like effect. But yeah, great film. Like I'm stating again. <sighs> Feeling deja vu from saying that one. And then we got the other Avengers film, Age of Ultron. And now you may be wondering, okay, you definitely double dipped on that one. And you're right. But you know why? It was a good reason. Once again, hollow foil like slipcover. But look at that. It's like jello red. It's not like Birdman Blu ray case red. It's jello red. But yeah, great film. I like it more than the first one, actually. Then, we got one that I was really hoping to find. Batman Bad Blood. Now, I got the steelbook, finally. And, uh, uh I gotta replace this, actually, because there's lots of different scratches and everything on it. But yeah, great animated film. I love this movie. All the DC animated films are really good. In fact, we're gonna have another DC animated film steelbook coming up. Just gotta be careful with that one. Next up, we have my favorite movie of 2015, Creed. Yep, I had to get Creed, of course, on the steelbook. And this was actually very easy to find. Uh, I believe my the video that I did uh, before my Zootopia review was my Creed steelbook unboxing. So you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, fantastic movie. Uh, my buddy Blu-ray Dan, giving you a shout out. You're awesome, man. Well, He's so, he's so supportive. Uh, he could not find this, and uh, I was wondering, why didn't he find it? I mean, because my local Target had tons of these things. But yeah, great film overall. Uh, me and Blu-ray Dan actually share the exact same opinions on the film. But yeah, next up we have probably the most underrated Disney film, or Pixar film, uh, besides Brave. Uh, yeah, I love Brave. Uh, this is the 3D Blu-ray of The Good Dinosaur. Really great film, actually. Very underrated. I really like the lenticular effect. Uh, I didn't get the Best Buy, you know, lenticular slipcover, cover, but whatever. Got the 3D one. Re very nice. Now, I wanted the Best Buy lenticular slipcover, cover, but the slip covers just weren't doing it right. And, uh, you know, like the, the, the condition that they were in. And uh, this 3D one is definitely a good one. I just wanted a lenticular slipcover for the film, like, you know. And here is our uh, second DC animated film on Steelbook, Justice League Throne of Atlantis. In my opinion, the most underrated in the series. Great film. Really enjoyed the movie. Really awesome Steelbook. And, uh, yeah. Very nice glossy finish as well. Uh, that's pretty much the origin story of Aquaman right there, told in a great way. Next up, we have a Blu-ray that came out today, actually, uh, the Peanuts movie. Uh, this almost got on my top five favorite films of 2015, but it got beat down by Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, but yeah, fantastic movie right here. Uh, but, you know, I, I was thinking of getting the one with the, the toy, but, you know, it, it didn't feel like it. It, it didn't have a slip cover, so that was mad. Then we have our next slip cover for This is the End. I, I had to get it, you know, it's a slipcover, and, uh, you know, I, I just, it, I randomly got this one. There are a lot of movies in my collection that I don't have a slipcover for, 
they need a slip cover for them. And then there are some I'm fine without having a slip covers on. But yeah, great movie. Uh, so many people love this movie. Uh, I'm glad that it got a lot of credit when it first came out. Uh, and let me just tell you, um, uh, this is the end, and uh, At World's End or The World's End are not are not like similar movies. They're not end of the world movies. Uh, the World's End is actually a alien invasion comedy, you know, a parody of those films. And then finally, we have a steelbook that, of course, went on sale. Um, what happened was a lot of films, uh, you know, DC animated ones and DC, you know, adaptations, uh, they were put on sale because of Batman v Superman coming out. And I had to get this one because, you know, directed by Zack Snyder, probably his best film besides 300. And, uh, what else? Damn. Uh, wow. Uh, I forgot. But whatever. Uh, Watchmen, the director's cut. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the reason why I got this was, um, you know, I had, it was only seven dollars. And plus, uh, considered to be Zack Snyder's best film. Uh, let me just give my thoughts on Zack Snyder. I think he's a very underrated director. Um, uh, I think he's done a lot of actually pretty good movies. Uh, well, some of his underrated films, I think, are actually great. Like Man of Steel. Uh, love this movie. And, uh, you know what? He has made, like, some really, really good movies, like 300. And this film. This is a great movie. Uh, great adaptation of the comics. And, uh, yeah, definitely see this. Um, this is a two-disc edition, of course. And it's not Blu-ray and DVD. No, it's Blu-ray and bonus features. So, yeah. Huh. Very short haul, I have to admit. Very small haul, actually. Uh, but you know what? I think I, I got a decent amount of stuff. Uh, more quality over quantity. Uh, you know, that's what I usually go for with my collection. Quality over quantity. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hopefully when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to try and see if I can do a movie collection overview. Um, but... You know, I, that, I'd have to work out some stuff with the Wi-Fi in the house, uh, try and work out and see if I can switch to Verizon again, and, you know, try and see if that works, and try and upload a video I wanted to do, but I'm not going to do anymore, uh, which was my Fargo movie review. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, please subscribe to help this channel grow. I'm glad you're subscribing if you are. Please like if you enjoyed the video enough, and comment if you want to, you know, call me an asshole. But yeah, this is Jerry the Collector telling you, always trust your instincts because sometimes movies can cheat you.